very emotional time for us all. For many families, it is a time to reflect on the loss of loved ones who died while serving. WSBT 22 Zach Crenshaw talked with one of those families about the true meaning of the holiday. With flags in hand, thousands lined the street for Mishawaka's Memorial Day Parade. Among them, Deb and Lorne Meyer. Thank you for your service. While the two blend in, the day stands out. Some years are easier for us than others, but 12 years ago, Memorial Day changed for us. It, it came home. It, it hit. It hit here. The day it all changed. April 8th of 2003. Deb remembers the moment her husband returned from work. When I told him, I, I can just see him, he just kind of slumped into his chair. And the next day came the knock on the door. On behalf of a grateful nation, I'm here to inform you that your, your son, Private First Class Jason Michael Meyer, was killed on the line of duty in Baghdad, Iraq. The pain from that day still lives on. Nobody understands unless they've been there. Memorial Day has never been the same. Memorial Day is not a happy day. It's a day to remember, it's a day to honor, it's a day to reflect. And that's what the Myers want everyone to know. Armed Forces Day, there's Veterans Day, but today is the only day to honor those that have been lost. In a word, this year's Memorial Day. Bittersweet. The sweet part of it came during the parade. Chris just called and they're on their way to the hospital. Jason's younger brother, Chris, calling to tell his parents about their soon-to-be grandson. So it looks like he just wanted to be a Memorial Day baby. And as the proud grandparents anticipate the newest addition to the family. We'll teach him about his Uncle Jason. They mourn the ones lost and promise never to forget. And he's on the front and back down here because it's never forget and all gave some, some gave all. Now the Myers spend some Memorial Days at Arlington National Cemetery when, where Jason is buried. They weren't able to get out there this year, but you know they try and make it out there as much as possible to honor Jason as well as you know other fallen soldiers. It has to be hard between you know, seeing the, the difficulty, but also the pride of seeing their other two sons put on their uniforms. Absolutely. I talked to them about that. You know, are they proud that they have kind of this military family now? And you know, the youngest brother was 17 uh, when Jason died, and he wanted to enlist. Uh, and they said, you know, it was tough making that decision, but they supported him fully. And when he put that, you know, Meyer patch and wore that, it was tough knowing Jason had just passed away. But they're very proud of their sons and uh, just a great family. That, that is very obvious. It takes a lot of, you know, pride in what they do. Yeah. Zach, thanks so much. Well, many of you took the